hey Trevor. Um, yeah, I'm glad you could um, get Adobe Acrobat to work. You can also um, make a PDF in Photoshop. It's under the File Automate menu. I think it says. I think there's a little tutorial in the um, in the class. But so anyway, I can see you're doing the computer guy. So let's see what you have here. Um, okay. Um, so just overall feedback. I'm getting the most um, unity and the most complete um, caricature in, you know, some like this one, um, this one a little bit. Um, this one I'm having a little bit of trouble trying to make sense of, um, even though I like the shape because overall you don't have to make it look like it has legs and so on like a, you know, I mean, you don't need to make it look like it's a, you know, like a humanoid um, caricature. Um, I like the idea of a webcam here. Um, so, in, and if you're going to do something with facial features, which is not, is not necessary at all, I definitely um, use something computer oriented. Um, so, yeah, I would just suggest um, next week you're going to be doing photos. I suggest putting a little bit more time into some of the objects and the way you're going to put them together, though um, you can easily do that in Photoshop too. So next week the focus is going to be getting getting some photos. So. Um, uh, yeah, I would just spend some more time on the concept just because this isn't, for me, this isn't really very clear. Um, even though I really like some of the graphics, I just, I'm having trouble putting it together as, um, you know, as a unified caricature. Um, so, you know, yeah, just a little bit more work on the concept. Um, so I just wanted to show you a couple of examples from past students just because next, and, you know, mostly this is to show you um, the importance of using different angles. So again, let's go, <clears throat> let me go to this one here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I know the tendency is to really use the one point head on perspective, but if you look at objects from more of a side view or a partial, um, side view, more of two point perspective, it's, it's going to create a lot more depth because it's going to, you know, the, the objects are going to look like they have more volume. So um, just, you know, keep that in mind when you're accumulating your images for next week. Um, again, this is kind of flat, uh, you know, flat Game Boy, but again, you're still seeing the side. So it, it's creating some nice depth. These are all finals, by the way. And again, notice the use of perspective with the wheel in the back here. Um, again, here's another <coughs> computer one and, and really nice solid objects that are really working to create interest. Um, this is one of my favorite ones just because she really made this into a whole, you know, scenario and it's so animated looking, you know, notice the side view. So you can really create, you know, you can really have fun creating, you know, a, you know, an animated, um, interesting, energetic piece. Um, and again, you can notice this one's kind of dancing, which is kind of like the music theme, right? And again, you're seeing a couple sides to these objects. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to, and again, here's another one. Um, so again, um, j just some ideas to think about when you're photographing um, and getting getting these objects. So um, yeah, so overall, nice job. Um, just needing a little bit, um, you know, a little bit more um, in terms of, um, you know, the transitions and the unity and creating, you know, a full object. This this looks a little bit, um, you know, I'm just not really getting a sense of this. I mean, I can see the face, but it, it doesn't, the objects, objects just look stacked on top of each other. It doesn't look like, you know, much is going on in terms of the whole, you know, the whole caricature. And I encourage people to do more than five objects. Um, um, and it is common to go back and forth um, in terms of, you know, getting getting feedback and then getting more objects and it just, you know, students usually add more and take away all through the, the term. Okay. So anyway, I hope this helps and, um, yeah, you, so, um, yeah, looks good.